Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, and it's uh, Tuesday, May the 5th, so Sanka de Mayo. Um, we had a very cold night last night, and uh, the outdoor temperature got to uh, minus 2, and underneath the tarp, it stayed at 3.2, which is good. This is only a 3 millimeter uh, tarp I'm going to order. Um, next year, I'm going to do this garden a little differently. I'm going to plant it out in April, and... Uh, middle of April and I'm gonna dome it I think like with a big tarp and those cables I bought cables guys yes I bought some more gutter cables and uh, they weren't that expensive I think about $79 Canadian uh, picked them up at our local hardware store here in uh, town I'll give them a shout out they've been really good to us home hardware in Ingleside so they are our supplier of these uh, gutter cables and uh they're good ones. I tried them out. I plugged them in last night, tested them out, uh, put them all in there, and it kept the temperature uh, around. You can see those cups. I wrapped it, my son Joe and I wrapped it one time around each one of these uh, these solo cups. They're large solo cups, okay, and I put the seed in the ground, and I put the thing on top after watering them, of course. I'm trying to germinate them directly in the soil. It might take some time with these kind of temperatures, but uh, as long as the seeds don't die, and then maybe next year I'll catch a break if I use six millimeter uh, actual uh, greenhouse plastic to cover this. So if I can get a 20 by 30 tarp, I'll have this mastered. And uh, even the strawberries will enjoy some of the extra. My wife has put some strawberries in here. I think it's a great place for them. I think they'll do well and they'll complement the uh, watermelon garden. We're going to go, I think, we're going to try this and maybe we'll go a little further next time and go all the way around. And we can have strawberries. My wife is going to put some herbs in there, uh, in that bricks. Uh, so, and also I'm going to put some, um, not morning glories. You don't want morning glories in your watermelon garden. Um, uh, other uh, flowers, small flowers, you know. So anyway, I'm long-winded today. Uh, I was kind of excited to see how this uh, all played out. Uh, we won't really know the results until about the middle of May, I think, or maybe later. Uh, until the warm-up comes but we got some very cold nights coming and i think i'm ready may have to uh, fix up this tarp a little bit better so uh i think the poly tarp uh, uh, a 20 by 30 poly uh sheet or the six millimeter of course uh greenhouse plastic or i might go just a, if i can't get a hold of one at a reasonable price i might just get a big tarp and on cold nights just tarp it and leave the everything just the way it is but I like this idea because I don't have to come around in the morning and frig around. I just leave everything just the way it is for the next week. Because we're a bit, a bit of a crisis in the watermelon garden. Strawberries are doing good though. They don't care about minus two. It doesn't bother them a little bit. Anyway, take care everybody. Enjoy the rest of your morning. And uh, stay safe everyone. Rob out.